Hey everyone, this is Naomi from Roaming the Americas. Today I just wanted to show you one of my favorite tools for helping me to plan my trips. And that is, of course, from Google. Um, it is called Google My Maps. It's a little bit different than just regular Google Maps because it lets you create custom maps where you can add pins onto the map anywhere that you want. So you can really plan out your trip visually. And I am a map person, I'm very visual, and I um, really love to be able to see all the things that I'm planning laid out on a, a map. So I'm gonna show you how to create one today. And first, to head to Google My Maps on your desktop, just type in Google My Maps into Google, um, or head to google.com slash mymaps. Pretty simple. It's going to take you to this brand new place if you haven't made any maps. If you have a lot of Google accounts, you just want to make sure that you're using the account that you want to use to create your map. So I'm going to switch accounts. All right, and it's pretty self explanatory. Just head into create a new map, and you will come to this untitled thing nothing on it yet. You can change your map title and for this example I'm going to do a, a recent trip that I did and I actually did create a map for but I'm going to show you from scratch um, how to do it. You can add a description if you want to, you don't have to. And then you can change your layer title as well. So let's do dining. So you can use layers in any way that you would like. Um, if you want to do like dining, lodging, and things to do, you could do that. Or if you like to do day-to-day -day itineraries, you could do a layer for each day. Or you could just not use the layers at all, just do one big layer. So what I do is as I'm researching, let's see, as I was researching, I found um, this area called U Street. And that's where I wanted to meet up with my friend. Um, to explore a little bit before we headed down to the National Mall. So I found the Visitor Center. So that's a place that I want to put onto my map. So here's the address that I found. I'm going to just pop that in. And we have Washington, D.C. popping up. So that's what I want to click on. Okay. So when you um, add in an address or a location, you're going to be taken to that spot on the map. Just hit Add to Map. And then um, what you can do is edit your pin. So we've got a pin right here. That, that pin is on the map. And then we can edit it. So I want to put visitors center. And then you can also add in notes here. And I like to sometimes maybe add in the website if it's not already listed. And let's put the hours in there. So you could put all kinds of notes in here to remind yourself of things if you'd like. And when we save it, we see Visitor Center there. And then we can also change, sorry, the style. And you can change the icon as well as the color. So let's make this um, just this darker blue. And we've got popular icons here. I want a little informational sign. So is exactly what I want. All right, so now we've got that pin for the informational center. Now it's not dining. Um, I'm going to have to change that layer, but let's add a layer right now. Things to do. Kind of a thing to do. And then you can just drag, drag things from layer to layer or within the layers as well. Okay. Now another place that I wanted to go was Bus Boys and Poets. That's where we went for lunch, it's right in that neighborhood. So you can either type in the address, which we have right here, or just start typing a location. So they've got several locations, so we can see there, this is the one I want to choose. And it takes you to that spot on the Google map. So if it has a Google listing, um, you see 
it, it should come up in the search and then you'll see its address, the website, the phone number, um, even the reviews. So that's super helpful. If there's no Google listing, then you want to go with the address adding function. Okay, so we added it to our things to do. Move that up to dining. And then again, um, I could add notes in here if I wanted to. And the style, let's change our dining to this yellow color. And we've got a little fork and knife icon for dining. Another spot that looked cool for dining was a place called Bounty Farmers. And we've got an address right here. Okay, so you see I added the address, and it takes me to the address specifically, and it has that as a title. Now, if I just click on Bounty Farmers, then I can add that to the map. If I would have added the address to the map, I would have just had to change the title and, and all that, and it wouldn't actually be that spot. It would have been that pin. Um, so sometimes it kind of doesn't match up exactly, but you can play with it and do it as you wish. Okay, let's change the color again. So you can just keep adding pins and you'll be able to zoom in and out. And now you can see several different things happening and you can add more layers. If you click on something, it's gonna show you your notes and all that good stuff. Another thing that you can do is add um, a layer with directions. Now I don't find this particularly useful for actual directions um, because I'll, I'll tell you why in just a moment as far as how this map works on your phone. But um, what I do find it useful for is showing a route on a map. So let's say you're going to do a walking tour, which we actually did the other day when I was in Washington, D.C., or um, a bike path. I'll show you one of those from my trip to Burlington, Vermont. And you want to show sort of the whole route on the map. I find that the directions um, layer works really well. So the way that we can do that is um, we can go to place and this is where we started. So I'm going to add to map and then do direction. So if you click on that little arrow um, you'll be able to do the direction. So I actually just added a pin and then now I've got a directions layer. Now the other way to do that, let's just delete those and I'm going to show you the other way to do that. Delete these. So this is how you delete. Okay, the other way to do it is to click this right here. Okay, so now we've just got a blank layer uh, with directions. I want to do walking directions because we did a walking tour. So we started at Ben's Chili. And then we went to U Street, Northwest, and 14th, I think. Okay, so now we're seeing sort of this line, this uh, route. Now, this brought the second point over here. I kind of don't want it right there, so I can just drag it right there. So um, now we can add more and see how, you know, as I drag this on here, it's taking different places. So I can either type in here an address or a location, or I can use this cursor and I and double click. And that's what I'm going to do. There we go. And it added C. And then add a destination. I'm, I'm not sure I've got all these destinations exactly right as to where we actually went, but this is just to show you. Okay, and then D. So 
I don't actually use this, like I said, for actual direction. It's just like if I'm planning something where we're going to be walking around or doing a bike path and I want to see where that is on the map, I find that this is um, a helpful layer to use. Okay, so I mentioned that you can also use this on your phone. I like to create the maps on my desktop. I find that the easiest way to do it and um, it's, you can have all the tabs open for all the you know, places that you're researching and, and all that, and it's really easy. But to use it on the go, you can access it on your phone. So if you have an Android, you can do it one of two ways. You can go into Google Maps and um, go to Places, I believe, and um, scroll over and look for Maps. And the other way that you can do it is to download a separate app, Google My Maps. So if you just, if you don't really want to go into your maps and have all that open and you just want to use um, Google My Maps, you can access it that way. On Android, there's a separate app for Google My Maps. Now, you can open it up in Google My Maps, click on something, and then hop over and get directions to it. Like straight, it'll take you right from Google My Maps into Google Maps. Um, or, you know, you can just use Google Maps and see where you are on the map currently. You can be looking at um, all your pins on that Google Map and, and navigate um, while you're on the go. And then iPhone, it's also right within the Google Map app. There's not a separate app for the Google, Google My Maps. So you also have to access it from Google Maps. If you head over, if you're watching this just on YouTube, you can head over to the post on Roaming the Americas. The link will be in the comments um, or in the description below. And I have a link to where you can find exactly how to use the apps and use this map on the go, um, whether you're using iPhone or Android. So I just want to show you a couple examples of real maps that I made and used. and. Um, the different ways that you can organize it. So I mentioned, I think I mentioned Burlington, Vermont. Um, I went there last summer, and so this was a map that I created. I was going to be there for about a week, so I had a lot of things on the map, as you can see. So I have dining here, um, and I have a little coffee cup for the cafes. I have lodging and things to do. So I have a little hiking icon, um, picnic table. Those are parks. And so you see all the different kind of icons that you can use. And then the directions one, that is the bike path. So that's really where I wanted to be able to see and highlight that bike path. And so I did a directions um, layer for that. So you can zoom in, um, click on anything, see any notes that might be in there. It's really great. Now, another way that I like to use it is when I'm just sort of planning a maybe trip. This is where I store great places that I'm finding along the way. I know that I want to travel back to Costa Rica. I know that I want to take a trip to Colombia. So I started maps for those places because I started to, to see things popping up and I think, oh yeah, I really want to go there and I don't want to forget about that place. So I just create a Google My Map and it's a place where I can store um, information and ideas. And one thing that you can do, uh, I know this spot right here, that was from a blog post that I had read. And so I put a little bit of information there and the blog post link in that pin. So that's a great way to do it as well. Now, another cool thing that you can do is, well, when you, when you are creating these maps, they will go into the Google Drive folder for that account that you're using. You can move, then move it into a subfolder if you want. But this was a really in-depth trip that I was planning. And so I have you know, some Google Docs where I just dump a bunch of ideas and all that. And then when you double click on it from your Google Doc, it'll just take you right into the My Map directly. So as you can see for this trip that I took, I had some color coding going on. Um, I, I did the camera icon for any places that I was finding that people said this is a really good spot for photos. 
Um, so it's kind of just like a visual reminder. It's a great way to see where everything is and um, just organize your trip. And you can, it's so flexible, you can organize it in so many different ways. Um, or you can just dump everything in there and, and just store it in one place. So I hope that you found that helpful. Like I said, if you head over to Roaming the Americas, um, to the link that's in the description, or if you're already on the page, and you can read in detail all my tips and um, different ways to use this. But I hope you found this helpful, and let me know if you have any questions.